Hello everyone, my name is Brett Busby and I want to thank the American Lawyers Alliance uh, for this uh, wonderful Judicial Civics Education Award. I'm so honored to receive it. I'm a justice on the Supreme Court in Texas and before I joined the court I was a judge on the Court of Appeals in Houston and I worked with uh, the Texas Supreme Court Historical Society and with the Houston Bar Association to start our Taming Texas program. The, te uh, the Supreme Court Historical Society developed this uh, book and a couple of others in this series uh, that talk about the history of Texas courts, how law and order came to the Lone Star State, and we have used it to develop a curriculum to bring into our seventh grade classrooms across the state to teach judicial civics to, as part of our Texas history. Uh, to our seventh graders and I'm very grateful to the Historical Society and to the Houston Bar Association for helping us bring this program into the schools. We worked with uh, teachers around the state to write a curriculum that would be accessible uh, to seventh graders to teach them about the courts and about our history and it's a two-day program. We go into uh, two different weeks uh, for an hour to teach it. The first segment is on Texas history and really the rich uh, contributions to Texas law, not, not only from the English common law system, but also from the Spanish and Mexican civil law system. Uh, and we talk about some of the firsts in Texas, the first uh, all-woman Supreme Court in the country to sit and hear a case, uh, some of our first Hispanic and uh, black judges around the state, uh, really to, to give the message to students that uh, you know, the legal profession is one where everyone has an opportunity to succeed and also to demystify it for people because a lot of these students, their only experience with the legal system may have been a negative one. And so we want them to understand uh, you know, the positive power of the legal system to help society. And, and the, in the second session, we go into what the various courts do uh, and also emphasize the importance of people understanding uh, and participating in the system to select our judges. And so uh, we've been, uh, the first year we did the program, we recruited over 120 lawyer and judge teams uh, in, in Houston to go out and teach that curriculum in schools. Uh, the Dallas Bar Association has joined in and we're in talks with some of the other bar associations around the state to bring it to students in their area. Uh, we've reached over 22,000 students so far and I'm really excited uh, about the potential that this curriculum has to, uh, to help transform the understanding of, of the legal system and, and bring that to, uh, to our young people coming up. So uh, thank you so much for this award. It's a real honor for me uh, to, this is something I love doing and uh, it's been a great team effort with, with the Historical Society and uh, our local bar associations. And uh, so a lot of credit goes to them for this. And I also want to congratulate the teachers of the year who are being honored today uh, and your scholarship recipient as well. Uh, thank you so much. I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you in person uh, for the award ceremony today, but uh, it's very much appreciated and um, a real tribute to all the volunteers who have helped make this program a success. Thank you so much.